IDF's KFIR Brigade holds large-scale drill focusing on war with Hezbollah. The KFIR Brigade has been undergoing changes to make it into a deadlier maneuvering force with new capabilities and manpower. The IDF's KFIR Brigade held a large-scale drill preparing its troops for a war on Israel's northern front, the first since changes were implemented to make it a deadlier maneuvering force last year. The week-long drill saw new capabilities and weapons including drones tested by the troops in order for them to contend with whatever the next war might bring, especially against Hezbollah, but also in Gaza and the West Bank, Major Guy Cohen, operations officer in the 92nd Battalion, told the Jerusalem Post. Before the changes, the brigade had fewer capabilities and other brigades in terms of manpower and weapons, Cohen said. The IDF's largest infantry brigade, the KFIR Brigade has five battalions, Nakshan Battalion, Shimshan Battalion Harod Battalion, Duchafat Battalion, and Netza Yehuda Battalion. Established in 2005 as a response to the need to combat Palestinian terrorism in the West Bank, the brigade specializes in fighting in both the West Bank and Gaza fronts. With the new changes, the brigade will be able to confront enemy forces on both the southern and northern fronts. As part of the new plan, the KFIR brigade will undergo significant changes to its structure and will operate like the IDF's other maneuvering brigades, the paratroopers, Javadi, Golani and Nahal brigades. Under the process the brigade will receive new weaponry, personnel, wheeled and non-tread armored personnel carriers and increase their training with a focus on fighting the enemy in urban combat areas. According to Cohen, the changes will be completed and all the weapons trained on by the end of 2022. The changes will turn KFIR into a more lethal maneuvering infantry force, he said, and that's what we worked on during the drill. The drill, he said, was significant and important for the battalion because Lebanon is the IDF's biggest challenge. Cohen told the Post that the standard-setting drill simulated the main challenges that the brigade is expected to face in a war on the northern front and troops had to contend with enemy forces that acted like Hezbollah to really challenge the troops who needed to know how to deal with them. It was very challenging, the mental cognitive part was very challenging, he said. To go from one mission to another in a small amount of time, mentally you need to be working 24-7.